Well, this is your weekly devotional for Wednesday, September 8th, continuing through the book of James. And today we're looking at James chapter 1, verses 5 through 8. And our theme is going to be ask for divine wisdom. Ask God for divine wisdom, but do it with faith. Don't just ask God for wisdom, but believe God gives wisdom. Do it with faith. That makes a difference. You'll see it in the passage here. We're going to start in verse 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. That seems pretty clear. Ask for wisdom from God when you need it. He's waiting to give you his wisdom. But it continues. Verse 6. But when you ask, you must believe and not doubt. Because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea, blown and tossed by the wind. That person should not expect to receive anything from the Lord. Such a person is double-minded and unstable in all they do. Kind of strong words. Let's begin with the easier part, the beginning of the passage. Okay, it begins by saying, you know, if, if if you lack wisdom, ask God. Because God is waiting to give you wisdom. That's the first, you know, kind of teaching of James here for us. Look at your life right now. There are areas where you lack the wisdom you need. I know that. There's areas I lack the wisdom I need. It's amazing how many times God grants wisdom that I didn't have through another person, through a book I read, through the scriptures, by the Holy Spirit. I don't have wisdom in lots of areas of life, but it's amazing when I cry out to God how he answers. So if you have an area right now that you're saying, I need perspective, I don't know the next step, I'm not sure how to handle this. God, I'm coming to you and I'm asking for wisdom. Now that's the first part, and that seems kind of easy. Ask for wisdom, God wants to give it. But there's a condition here. And there's a lot of things in the Bible that we want to say, everything's unconditional. But there's conditions in the Bible at times. And this specifically, James says, when you ask, don't doubt. Don't be like a wave blown around, but ask trusting God and believing God's going to answer your prayer. There's there's certain prayers that you can ask and God is always ready to answer. God, give me your wisdom in how to care for this person, how to serve well here, how to live for you, how to deal with this complex situation, how to make this life decision. God is waiting for those kind of prayers. He wants to guide you. And so so when you pray, do it without doubting. Do it with confident faith. So in your life right now, where do you need wisdom? I want to challenge you. Right when this devotional is done, spend a couple minutes, come before God and say, God, I'm asking for wisdom in this complex work situation, in this relational tension. I'm asking for wisdom in my own life decision and direction choices. Ask, but say, and God, I am praying with confident faith that if all the prayers you want to answer This prayer for your wisdom to guide my life is when you always are ready to answer. And then look for that answer. And God may bring it to you through a wise friend. I had one time in my life where I was working with two high school kids who had become Christians. Their dad was a hardcore atheist, had been in jail for attempted murder of their mom, was now out of jail. He was a tough guy, not a believer at all. And there was a time that Sherry and I had a complex decision to make in our life. And the place that God spoke wisdom to us was through this guy. We were walking away. He loved us because we loved his kids. When he was in jail, we were caring for helping care for his kids. When he got out of jail, he cared about us, but he was a tough guy. God spoke wisdom to guide our lives through a hardcore non-believer. Pay attention. God can speak to you through the scriptures, through people, through circumstances. And when you pray for wisdom, trust that God's going to give it. Lord, that's our prayer today. Grant us wisdom in the areas of our life where we don't know the next step. We're not sure what to do. It's confusing for us. We pray that we would ask for wisdom consistently confidently in faith. And then, Lord, when you guide us through whatever means you guide us through, we will give you all the praise. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Have a great rest of your week. Sunday morning, gathering for worship, 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock at Shoreline. If you're a Shoreline worshiper online, we'd love to see you there. On campus, we'd love to see you outdoors or indoors. But let's be together as the family of God. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your week.